Hi! In today's video I will talk about my reading goals for 2023. My name is Elin and this is Lunacha Books. If you have followed my channel for quite a while, you will know that I set myself the same number of books to read every year. I have done this since way before Goodreads was around and actually I'm not really on Goodreads anymore. I haven't deleted the account but I'm not using it anymore. I moved to Storygraph and if you like to follow me on Storygraph there's a link in the description box. So as I said I set the same number of books every year as a reading goal. That goal is 50 books. And you might think that, oh, but you read so many books last year. Yes, I did. And normally I read far more than 50 books, but there has been years where I haven't managed to read 50 books. So I think it's a good number of books and it's achievable. And for me, it's very important that my goals are achievable. Otherwise, I very easily lose motivation. If I don't like have the motivation, why should I strive to reach my goals? It feels so much better to have goals that you can actually meet, in my opinion. If you saw my video on my 2022 reading year, you will know that I had a couple of challenges that I didn't reach, and one of them being the 12 challenge. I don't know if you know about the 12 challenge, but it was basically that I had 12 books recommended to me by others. This was on Instagram, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, there's a link in the description box. My name is Lunacha Books there as well. There were like 12 books and I was supposed to read it within the 12 months of 2022. However, as you should know by now, I did not manage to do this. There were four books on that challenge that I didn't read. So my goal for maybe the next few months actually is to read those books. So I hope to get around to reading them and actually finish my 12 challenge even though I didn't manage to do it in 12 months. That's okay. I will read the books and then I am will feel good because I actually read all the books that was recommended to me. My last goal for 2023 is to read more of the books that are sitting on my shelf unread. I, I did a lot of book buying in 2022 because even though I had a few months of book buying ban, you would probably know from my previous videos, I did a lot of book shopping. I also did a lot of book shopping the previous year and I am thinking that what's the point of buying all these books if I'm not reading them? I want to read more of the books that are sitting on my shelf unread and hoping that that will help and maybe when I've done more of the shelf read, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, if I manage to read more of them I can buy more books again. I'm not on a strict book buying ban, but I am trying to not buy as many books. However, I do work in a library, so there's quite a few times that there are books coming with me home. And that's kind of another goal is to borrow less books because they tend to sit on my shelf and then I'm not getting around to reading them and I feel bad because I borrowed them and then I don't read them and then I have to take them back to the library unread and that doesn't really feel that good. So this year I will try to borrow less books, which sounds crazy, I know, but I will borrow less books so I can actually read the ones that I borrow. I also read quite a lot of books for work but I tend to read a lot of books in English and even though it's related to my job I should probably try to focus more on books for teens in Norwegian. So that's another goal of mine, even though it's work related and probably not as fun because I don't think the Norwegian books for teens or young adults are as good, they're not as diverse 
and there's not that many to be honest but I will try. Those are my reading goals for 2023 and now I'm very curious to hear about your reading goals. Do you have any? What are you planning on doing for this year? Do you have any fun reading goals? L let me know, tell me. And before you go, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and then press that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos. And for now, I am saying bye. I will see you in my next.